Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Mallory. And, and we're, we're Crimson, Crimson Calamity. Calamity. And you're watching Sirens TV. My favorite thing about Lauren, just in general, it's also my least favorite thing, is that I never have to guess what she's thinking. I just, you know, she's a person who's been very vocal in my life and she's always honest and she's always forthcoming. She doesn't ever omit information from people and she's just very like, if I ask her her opinion, she's gonna tell me whether I wanna hear it or not. So I, that's my favorite thing about working with her, but she also has a tremendous sense of fun and she cracks me up all the time. So that would be like the very close second, I would say. Um, how about you, Lauren? <laughs> I think we're so in tune with each other, especially on stage and I think we make each other better musicians and better people. So it, and I think, you know, people sometimes think we're sisters when we're on stage together because of how, our, how connected we are. And I think that, um, I guess my favorite thing is that she makes me a better musician and person. Someone, someone recently um, messaged us on Facebook and it was like, um, I don't know if you guys need anybody else, but if, if you do, um, can I be in your band? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, she was like, you can use a brunette. <laughs> That's a good point. I was like, oh, okay. I hope is that we can raise a generation of women where we're not comparing ourselves to one another, we're empowering one another and celebrating our differences. And, and because as women, we're supposed to connect to people. That's like, like what we're about, really, at the heart of things. In your arms again. You don't need to be famous by the time you're 16. Keep your dignity and know yourself and um, just work hard. Play more instruments. In dealing with kids that are, you know, preteens right now, I usually just, you know, tell them to be themselves and to not let, not be afraid to be different and to embrace their uniqueness. It's not a bad thing to shine. It's not a bad thing to really embrace your own confidence and your own sense of self because that's truly what can heal other people is when you own yourself and you know yourself and you let that out. There are so many people that just, they wanna do the same thing and by you allowing yourself to be vulnerable like that, you're gonna let other people do the same thing and that's that's what the world needs more of. It's almost like you're giving permission to others to just mm -hmm. go ahead and Absolutely, be. to connect, mm -hmm. to connect. I think there's sort of this constant thing from kind of the time you start having any sort of advertisement thrown at you, um, there's a there's a comparison that starts to happen. And um, you know, I, I keep rereading this quote that is comparison is the thief of joy. And I think that, you know, it what's cool about right now is that a lot of things I feel like are starting to change because people are being more vocal about it and talking about it. And I think that that sort of conversation and dialogue is, is starting to change things and you start to see different types of people being celebrated. And I hope that that continues. I feel like I would want to do something where I'm making something. I have to do art in some way, I guess. And I feel like there's so many different things that are in our in this world that are art, maybe aren't conventionally art, but are. You know what I mean? Your car is art. The clothes you're wearing are art. Your, you know, the furniture in your house or your apartment, that's art. Everything. So, I, I think, I, I don't know, I think maybe I would either be an interior designer, a baker or something, I don't know. But I can't really imagine my life not doing art in some form. If I wasn't doing music, I'd be acting, that's for sure. Another year has come and gone. I would say always be graceful. In your own life, when you look back, if, if you can say that, you know what, I did the best I could and I, I really tried my you know, my best to be graceful in that situation, then you can't really regret how you, you know, regardless of, you can't control other people, but if you always um, are kind and graceful in a situation, then that's, you know, a good thing.
Yeah, I agree with a lot of what she said. I, I don't know that there's one all-encompassing way that I can simply say it, but a lot of things that I think are important are being present, because now is the only moment that you have. Don't get too caught up in the past and don't worry about the future. You know, be optimistic. There's always a way to be optimistic about something, and you know, negative people can be wrong, and optimistic people can be wrong too. But who's happier? You know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to encompass it in like one simple statement. I feel like because there's just so much emotion behind that for me right now. But I would just say like being present, being humble, being kind, finding balance. Um, don't worry so much. You know, all of those things. I think. You can wrap it up in a bow. That's what I a would say. A bow of love. A bow of love. <laughs> of sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> Bake it in a cake. <laughs> Everybody likes cake, but maybe make it gluten-free for people that can't have gluten. Mm -hmm.